Hi, and welcome to Team Vigo Spotlight. I'm Bill Riley, Director of Communications. I'm here with Dr. Rob Hayworth, our Superintendent, and Dr. Hayworth, it's week three of our COVID-19 updates. Uh, first, I wanna take a quick look at the dashboard, which is now updated on vigoschools.org. We have three student positives with campus contact in the last 14 days. That's down from seven last week. Four staff positives with campus contact in the last 14 days. That's down from five last week. 92 students actively quarantined, down from 151 last week. And 23 staff actively quarantined, down from 30 last week. So Dr. Hayworth, we have some improvements here with our district numbers. Yeah, I uh, first just very thankful to our students, uh, to our staff, to our parents uh, that uh, have taken this serious. Uh, both at school and away from school. They're masking, uh, they're social distancing. Uh, they're taking all the necessary steps, we believe, uh, that will allow those numbers to hopefully continue to fall. Um, and that, again, I'll speak to this, and we've done it the last two times. I think this is also helping us, and that is when a, a student is sick, doesn't feel good, uh, remember we're asking you to keep them home. So very appreciative of the efforts of our parents, students, community members to help us get to a point where uh, we can talk about these numbers and see a little success this week. So out in the community, we're still hovering around 10 to 13% with our positive rate, but I wanna make sure people see this chart that the health department released yesterday. The chart now tracks the number of positive cases out at the federal prison. While it's sad to see cases among any population, including inmates, the chart provides a bit more context for our Vigo County numbers and shows that non-inmate numbers have declined each week since school started. Dr. Hayworth, how do you respond to those numbers? Well, again, we hope those that are uh, uh, find themselves testing positive um, or, uh, out in our community, we hope for a quick, speedy recovery for those folks. Um, as it would relate to us, we, we do want to have that line of demarcation in regards to what are our cases and what are uh, cases that belong to other entities throughout the county. Uh, you know, our goal, and we've said this uh, time and time again, is to get back to everyday face-to-face -face education and our, our ability to discern between what's our data and what the uh, rest of the county's data looks like as a part of that. Um, you know, but I, I think some other things that we can point to, again, looking at our data, is that the AB schedule is working. Uh, you know, I've been in every building uh, since the start of school and in talking to our teachers. Uh, they're very appreciative of this opportunity to launch in this AB model. Uh, it also helps our nurses and those that are tracking cases. Um, it makes it much easier for us to be able to uh, quarantine those that need to be quarantined and keep those in school that uh, need to be kept in school. So Dr. Hayworth, big North-South football game this weekend. I won't make a third of our county angry with you and ask who you like to win the game, but this game's a big test for our community, isn't it? Well, I think even backing up to uh, this past weekend. So when you think about Labor Day, uh, we're anxious to see what the impact of Labor Day weekend um, traditionally, and I don't know if we can speak to traditional anymore, but traditionally that's been a time for families to get together, uh, have a cookout, uh, a fellowship with one another. Uh, so that's one test. So where do we come uh, from out of that Labor Day weekend? Uh, North-South football game be another test for us. Um, I'm, I've been uh, in several athletic events. I've been very proud of our fans and our students uh, in relationships to how they're wearing the masks. You know, I, I was told that, you know, we couldn't keep masks on second graders and third graders. I've been in every building and second and third graders are doing a great job. I've been to volleyball. I've been to golf matches. Our kids are doing a great job. Uh, if there was an area, though, that I would say is still uh, out there that could be a needs improvement area, it is our social distancing at games. You know, and talking to our principals and athletic directors as we prepare for this north-south game, 
uh, they're going to be asking our fans to help us uh, not only just wear masks, uh, but to also social distance at those games uh, so that we can continue this trend of uh, good numbers that we've seen. Well, Dr. Hayworth, thank you for your time today. Uh, let's keep this going with some lower numbers in our schools and uh, check out our COVID-19 dashboard at vigoschools.org. Thank you. Thank you, Bill.